Hey, what's going on everybody? Steve here from Man of the Hour, and today we're going to begin our walkthrough for Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, the remake. So let's go ahead and jump right into it, shall we? I'm going to play this under the normal difficulty, just to help out all the first first timers who just pick up the game. So, And uh, even though I got pretty much all the unlockables, uh, I'm not going to use any of them, not going to use infinite handguns, no infinite rocket launchers, uh, just going to treat this like this is the very first time I'm playing this game. Okay, so let's get started, except I'm going to... I'm gonna put everybody in our classic costumes just to add a little nostalgia to it. But other than that, it's that's gonna be it. So let's go ahead and get started. than any disease in modern history. Authorities are bracing for more rioting tonight. He was knocked out conscious. A citywide emergency has been declared. CDC has quarantined the lower Midwestern region of the U.S. Commitment, honesty, integrity, these are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. It's this foundation that will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. Okay, we're in control again. Uh, this is going to be kind of similar to uh, how you walk around the houses in Resident Evil 7. I really love how this beginning happened. But, uh, spoiler alert, this is... not. We're not quite there yet. We'll just go ahead and go in the bathroom, pick this up. Just a bad dream. <laughs> Gets worse every night. Okay. And we're basically going to do exactly what we just did, except a couple extra steps. Uh, we actually got some documents to pick up. 
just pause them if you want to read them. And should be another one here. And one more here. I'm going to try to pick up every one I can find, but if I miss one, uh, I'm sorry. There's like 60 of these, so uh, it's going to be real easy to miss. Okay, I'll just go on through here. Turn the light on. Answer the phone here. Let's find out, Jill. Let's see who it is. Maybe it could be a warning, or maybe the publishing clearinghouse is say I won the sweepstakes. Right, I'm coming. Let's see. Hello? Jill, are you, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. Alright, let me grab my <laughs> And just run right down the hallway, uh, just gonna let you know a little secret. He's not gonna come get you until you cross this point. Gotta get out of here. There should be nothing in here, so just keep on going. Down the stairs, and through the window. And I just love how this little scene looks. This reminds me a lot of uh, that little section in the house in Resident Evil 7 when you're dealing with uh, Lucas Baker, uh, you know, Jack's psychotic son. Just remind, it reminds me so much of that scene. Okay, run as fast as you can, starting now. Oh, wait a minute. It's one more thing. <laughs> okay. This is all I was talking about. When we run down the stairs, he's going to jump and grab us, throw us through the wall, and he's going to chase us. And you got to keep running, or uh, he's going to slam you down with that big piece of rock. And that's an instant death right there. As long as you hold down the up up button, he won't get you. <laughs> Mr. Brad Vickers should be joining us shortly. Over here! Brad! 
You okay? What was that thing? Damn if I know. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. This all happened so fast. I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like Arclay on steroids. I can say I love this little scene here. You got the movie theater, the posters, the helicopters. Hey, wait! Down here! God damn it! And uh, I gotta admit, I played through here like three times without even noticing this. I, I, you know, all this wreckage here. I thought it was a car or something, but this is actually the casket where Nemesis came in. Yeah, Jill, something such as a eight foot monster that just try to kill you. Just run. You ain't got a gun, so don't try to fight him. Go to this cop here and pick up that gun. That's going to be your very first weapon. Sorry. Even though that zombie was put there for target practice, but just run away. Save your ammo. Through here, we're gonna meet Dario. You'll see him right here. Sir, are you all right? <gasps> Stay back! Don't come any closer! Hey, come on. There's a helicopter waiting to take you to safety. What safety? I'm not going out there. The parking garage isn't far. I can. The only it. safe place is in here. I just want to look at some right quick. For camera, field of view. I just want to turn this up a little. That way I can. Go and reload. And uh, there's going to be another small group of zombies further on as soon as we get in the parking lot. So uh, just try not to shoot them. Save your bullets. about him he ain't gonna get out but the two you got to worry about is the one they're gonna pour at his elevator the second hit them. Shit. just run around them hit the button
Okay, just run to the helicopter. Where whatever is on your keyboard or controller, just crank the car up. Turn, damn it! It's my turn, bitch. Give it some gas and just run his ass over. Wee <laughs> <laughs> doggy. And you can just sit right here. You don't have to move or nothing. Hey, fuck this. Hey, easy lady, I got you. Who are you? What are you doing? James Carlos, I'm saving you. Come on, let's get you someplace safe. I think we're in the clear. Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Oh, come on. Who's the dipshit to close this? Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Hey, what do you know about that monster? Nothing. I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? No thanks. He's all yours. <laughs> Listen, I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this! Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Look, you don't have to trust me, but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? It's this way. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the M&Ms like you see on TV. <laughs> well, you see, Carlos, he really don't know that Umbrella's the one that caused all this. He strongly believes that his group is, you know, they're they're really sent out here to say the, you know, to be the heroes and save the civilians. So that's kind of why he acted a little surprised on Jill's response. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of... RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, Platoon Leader Mikhail Victor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. 
Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. Sure be nice if you can get me one of those M4s, Carlos. But we'll make do what we got. Just a little guide on how to make ammo, but if you played Resident Evil 2, uh, it pretty much plays the same way. And if you're playing on your assisted difficulty, there'll be more items here to pick up. So we'll just keep going. I love the atmosphere of what they did on here. Uh, all these movie posters and advertisements. Uh, you know, just take a couple of minutes and look at them. There's actually a ton of Easter eggs that's hidden, you know, throughout the city. I think there's another document over here. I think there's one more over here. Okay. Maybe not. Jill? It's me again. You topside yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You might get in the subway infrastructure back online. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Just go ahead and make you some ammo. I think I can... Okay. We can't do nothing with that yet. However controls on weapons are a little different so uh, that's one thing I love about this uh, the combat knife is uh, permanent it's indestructible unlike Resident Evil 2 but the only downside I hate about it is uh, if a zombie grabs you, you you can't like stab them and run well that's because of the uh, the dodge button will take place of that Okay, I think there's another document here to pick up. Just explain uh, how you mix herbs. Let's see. I think we might have a thing or two we can drop off. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this. And our first save here. And, you know, just quick show you that I pretty much unlock almost everything you can possibly get. But, you know, I'm just going to pretend I don't have any of it and just play like it's my first time through. Don't think you're seeing anything through. moving and just simply avoid them if you don't want to waste bullets on them I'm gonna try to avoid these guys here too and these zombies cannot break through the doors 
let's see. There's a lock here. We'll have we'll get in a little while. And uh, gonna give you a little quick pro tip. Uh, they may be like shooting fish in a barrel, really easy to kill, but do not waste your bullets on them because they'll come right back in another cutscene. So you'll be just wasting ammo. Let's see. I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck you. And we need to go this way, but... We're gonna have to get the fire hose. So, uh, what's gonna happen is, when I cross that line, the gate's gonna fall down and the zombies will come after me, so... Easiest way to get rid of them is to uh, get them close to that barrel and shoot it. See if I... I think we got them all. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of lure her here. Maybe we're lucky we'll get a headshot and exploding headshot. Nice try, lady. Nice. Well, you can't avoid them completely, but I just prefer to take them out. dead and I'm just gonna ignore these guys for now I think we cleared up enough where they shouldn't be a problem don't forget to pick this red herb here up I know they place these barrels out here to help you fight against Nemesis, but you're you're not going to bring them up here. Let's go and make us some more ammo. At one at one oh, excuse me at one point we're going to start using this gunpowder to make magnums and uh and shotgun shells, but for now you know bullets. You don't use them to make bullets unless you're running real low. So, that's everything in this area, so we're going to go into this little, I guess, uh, kind of a storage room here. We're at 30 minutes. I might go just a little bit longer since uh, we kind of had a big introduction. And uh, I'm going to see if I can remember to save combination off the top of my head. Oh, cool. 
I'll show you where to get the combination uh, in just a little bit. You know, if this is your first time playing through. But this will help you aim a little better. If you want to save ammo, you can run past him or just lure him here. And there's going to be a few zombies here, so we're going to go ahead and take them out. Hmm. Let's see here. I think he sees us. Oh, come on. I know that hit him. This guy's like ultra instinct and dodging all my bullets here. Uh oh. He got up quick. They definitely made these zombies a little bit weaker from Resident Evil 2. I can definitely notice that. Okay, he's not getting up for good. So, I may just uh, round all these guys up and blow the barrel up. Kind of help save a little ammo. Come on, guys. Come on, walk up to me. We're gonna blow you up. I don't know if I got that guy over there. I'm not sure why he wandered over there. Just take your time and keep a safe distance. And uh, if you get them down and there's nothing else, just go ahead and try to knife them. This will help save you, help you save some ammo. And speaking of ammo, don't forget to go back here. All right, let's go and reload. We'll get him in just a second. I just wanted to go in and save some bullets. Let's go knife him a little bit just to make sure he's dead. I always do a double tap. They're not quite as bad as Resident Evil 2 where you have to knock him down three or four times. I think I got her for good. I'm already sitting about 30, almost 35 minutes, so we'll probably stop in just a little bit. I may, okay, yeah, this is all I was telling you about, uh, when you're at the safe, uh, that safe I opened earlier, this is where you get the combination from. Nine, three, seven. And it's the same up to hardcore. I think it is a little different on, uh, Nightmare in Infernal Difficulty. Let's see. We got this area pretty much cleared. And don't worry about him. He won't get up. At least not yet. But there's going to be one zombie coming up here, so go and take him out quick. Maybe we'll get a critical shot if we're lucky. Just 
keep a safe distance and you'll be fine. And I prefer to try to get behind him if I can. It makes it harder for him to sit up and bite you. Okay, he's down for good. We're gonna head over here right quick. There's a, a thing or two to get, I think. Subway company's offices. Huh. Nothing. But, you know, this is gonna play a big part later. Just gonna grab your dock here. And there's a lockbox. Can't do nothing just yet. There's a lock pick we're gonna pick up in probably in the next video that's gonna unlock all these little yellow locks. But we'll cover that in part two. Just gotta make sure you have a extra spot, which we barely have for this guy. And I'm just gonna go ahead and combine these. And if you got any room left, there's a couple of items over here. Try to grab one or two if you can. And I think there's a gunpowder here. Okay, can't get that. We're we're slap full on inventory. And uh, there's our shotgun, but we can't get it until we uh, use our bolt cutters. Uh, if we walk over there, that door probably gonna slam open and a zombie will fall out, so. And of course, uh, he got me. Double tap, make sure he's down. Whoa. You don't want to do that. Ah, oh, dang. Okay, I think that did it. We'll just make sure. Cool. May swing back and get these items right quick, because uh, there is an item box right here. I'll go ahead and do that right now. Don't need that or that. I'm gonna save grenades for bosses, and every time we encounter the nemesis, uh, typewriter. Okay, there's gonna be three of these fancy boxes. And uh, they're going to be part of a puzzle we passed uh, earlier. I might have forgot to say something about it, but we'll probably cover that in the next video when we do a little backtracking. Just open it up. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and use this. Top off my health. Okay, I'm just going to go backtrack and grab those items right quick. There's some bullets to pick up. And another gunpowder. Okay, got plenty of bullets. Let's see here. Turn up shot. It's probably red because of that little lock over here we just passed. Um, I'm already standing here thinking about it, so I'll just go ahead and grab it. Okay. 
So, we're gonna go ahead and uh, head back to that fire hydrant and put the fire out. And then we'll probably stop off. I just want to make this video just a little bit longer since uh, the beginning was a little bit heavy on the scenes. Because I just don't want to make a 30 minute video where, you know, 60% of it is uh, scenes. So, uh, just gotta remember, there's a couple of zombies we left alive, so damn up you're out here, so I'm gonna try to shoot that electric box that's on the left. That should stun them, and we'll run right by them. Oh. Not sure why it didn't affect him. He must have be standing. He must have been standing right outside the electrical charge, but you know it's okay. You're gonna take a little damage on your first time. I just hadn't played this game in a few weeks, so uh, um, might be my timings might be a little off. But you know, don't worry. We'll get this done. And here's your bolt cutters. Go and grab them. Is someone in here? And you can backtrack now if you want. Now you got the bolt cutters. Uh, I think we'll just kind of wait because uh, I kind of want to do that backtracking all in one time when I get those uh the lock pick so I'll put those up so we're gonna go ahead and stop here for now because we're at 43 minutes it's a little longer than I wanted to but I'm gonna try to get this done in about eight videos at the most but we'll see Anyways, uh, thank you for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe, and keep following me. Uh, there's going to be more videos to come. Anyways, I'd like to see the comments below for feedback for anything, and uh, we'll go from there. Anyways, thanks for watching.